how to clean leather on a leather jacket using the R2 foam, the premium brush, the leather bar, and the premium microfiber towels. First and foremost, as always, please use the premium brush to dry brush the jacket down to remove any surface dirt and debris. Most importantly, when cleaning something as big as a leather jacket, focus on sections. So here we have some staining around the front side of the jacket. So what I'm going to do is use the R2 foam, apply it directly on the bristle brush like so. Give it a scrub down. And then follow up with a microfiber towel. Where there's staining, I'm just gonna work into that area a little bit more. Using the RTU foam to deep clean, the leather is really good because you run a very low likelihood of overwetting vintage leather. So you want to make sure that you don't over saturate the leather with too much moisture. Once you've dried down the jacket, this is where we work into it using the leather balm. So in the leather balm, when you unscrew it, there's a nice sponge applicator and a little tray for it to be housed in. The leather balm is actually derived from beeswax and coconut oil, so it's designed to re-nourish. How to use it is just do small circulations so that the leather balm adheres to the sponge. Then work in small sections to recondition the leather. Once the applicators used all the balm, just again recirculate around the leather balm so it's back on the applicator and just work around different areas of the leather. So the leather balm is actually designed for all things leather. So whether it be a leather jacket, whether it be a leather bag, a leather wallet, full grain leather on your trainers, to premium leathers on your boots, you can use the leather balm across all leathers to re-nourish. When it comes to actually the feel and texture of it, you'll very quickly realize that the texture of the leather has come back and rejuvenated from the leather balm. So now, we've cleaned and cleansed one side of the jacket. Very quickly, you'll be able to feel the suppleness come back on the leather. And you just want to repeat where necessary and allow the leather balm to pre-make into the leather before wearing. This could take a couple of hours. And if there's any excess of leather balming or the stitching or any of the non-leather detailing, make sure you use a microfiber towel to wipe it down just in case there is any form of residue from the leather balm that isn't working its way into the leather. And very quickly you'll be able to see there's a nice natural sheen to the jacket and there's suppleness that's come back to the leather. Allow it to pre for a few hours before wearing. And that is how you deep clean and care for leather using the RTU foam, the leather bar, premium brush, and the microfiber towel.